In the meantime, let's bring in retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis. Uh, Colonel, it's great to have you on the show. I just got this uh, notice. It came from uh, Reuters saying, quote, Iranian official tells Reuters there was no missile attack on Iran. We have confirmed there was an attempt, clearly. Uh, so there is now, you've got this kind of back and forth between the news agencies and the politicians kind of, kind of saying what they want to say, which is natural, happens all the time. We still don't know exactly what happened on the ground, but we do know uh, that there was an attempt, at least, to, to drop some weaponry into southern Iran. Well, and let's hope that, that that is an indication that everybody does want to de-escalate this, that everybody does want to keep this below the threshold where it could go into war, where the Iranian side would feel a need to, to trigger what the, that foreign minister said there or what the uh, President Racy said a couple of days before that. So that would be good news to, as far as I'm concerned. So let, let's hope that this matter is going to be put to rest and that saner heads are going to prevail and that this does not escalate into any kind of conflict. Yeah, but there, there's that risk. I mean, that's the whole thing is whenever you have this type of thing, Colonel, you know, I know everybody who we've talked to says there's this risk. It's a tightrope and you've got to you've got to depend on the other side saying, OK, enough is enough. And it doesn't usually work that way. Fair. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been very concerned about it because I've seen these the these uh, comments coming out of the Iranian side. And given the fact that they did break that that taboo, that threshold that they had never crossed before by sending that, you know, those 350 missiles and drones into Iran or Israel proper from Iranian territory, that shows that they are willing to take some action because they had taken a lot of assassinations uh, over the years uh, from the Israeli side and almost done nothing in response. Mm -hmm. And they had had 17 assassinations by the Israeli side since October 7th. And this one finally crossed the line when Israel hit that embassy. And so I, I think Israel has to be more careful now that uh, there is a line that beyond which Iran will strike. And if it turns out that this was uh, like a really small strike or that mm -hmm. Israel launched something that they knew would get shot down and that's the end of it, then that's a good thing. But otherwise, the, you know, the, the risk is still high that, you know, miscalculation or misinterpretation can still rear their ugly heads. Yeah, very much indeed. Uh, Colonel, stand by if you want to. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.